Good morning, everybody. It's me, Lisa T, coming at you with some positive energy reading The Language of Letting Go by Melody Beatty. A little catch up, so I'm doing April 5th, Detaching in Love. Loving detachment. I've heard that term. Have you heard that term? Loving detachment. So detaching in love. So And this is something that I still don't fully understand how to do well. So let's see what the reading says. Okay. Detachment is a key to recovery from codependency. Key. Detachment is a key. A key to recovery from codependency. It strengthens our healthy relationships, the ones that we want to grow and flourish. It benefits our difficult relationships, the ones that are teaching us to cope. Okay, so we have healthy relationships that help us grow and flourish, and we have difficult relationships that help us or teach us to cope. And detachment helps with both of those. Okay, so it helps us. Detachment helps us. Detachment is not something we do once. It is a daily behavior in recovery. Detaching, detaching. So like not owning other people's stuff, um, I think. Um, not trying to control other people, not to, trying to control the situations, allowing life to flow, detaching from, from feeling responsible for this. We're responsible for this, not all of this out here. Okay, so detachment is not something we do once. It is a daily behavior in recovery. We learn it when we're beginning our recovery from codependency and adult children issues. Adult children issues. As adults, any, most of our issues we have now, if it has to do with control or it has to do with um, guilt or shame or uh, fears, most of it started, it, it comes from childhood. So adult children issues. Um, so we're beginning. So yeah, we learn it when we're beginning. So so detachment is something we learn in the beginning, um, rec in recovery from codependency and adult children issues, and we continue to practice it along the way as we grow and change, and as our relationships grow and change. So we're on a path of growth and change, and as we do that, our relationships, the dynamics of our relationships, the people that we keep close to us, all of that starts to change as well, just kind of organically. That's what I've noticed. It's not something I'm like choosing. It just sort of organically happens. As I work on me, this changes out here. It, and actually nothing really changed. It's just because the way I see it and the way I maneuver through things and the way I navigate through my life changes because I've been working on this, on, on the insides. Okay, so uh, practicing a lot as our, as our relationships grow and change. We learn to let go of people we love. We learn to let go of people we love. People we like, we learn to let go of people we like, and we also learn to let go of those we don't particularly particularly care for. We separate ourselves and our process from others and their process. So we let go, not like we say goodbye to people, but we let go of, of, of that controlling, of wanting, to, of wanting to direct them, of wanting to change them, of wanting to direct the whole show of life. Um, in order to control it so that we feel safe and secure and good about ourselves and happy. Um, it's not about that. we got to detach from all of that and just work on here and go through our process and let others and the world go through its process. We relinquish our tight hold and our need to control in our relationships. Our tight hold. I'm white knuckling through my last relationship. I felt like I was like white knuckling a lot of the time, like just holding on for dear life, hoping, you know, like and really trying to, you know, like let go. We gotta let go and let the process just unfold and let let things unravel as they should. Let other people go through their process as we go through our process. So we take responsibility for ourselves. We, and we allow others to do the same. Um, like a previous reading where um, it was talking about, you know, um, when someone we love, it, we feel like we want to help them. We need to just like be there to support them and instead, you know, uh, um, encourage them to know that they have the strength to make it through things themselves. That we don't have to like input. We don't have to get in the middle of things. Um, we can detach. And we can allow others to do the same. So, so we take responsibility for our, ourselves and we allow others to take responsibility for themselves instead of us taking responsibility for them. We detach with the understanding that life is unfolding exactly as it needs to for others and for ourselves. I've always, you know, I've, I've, this is cool because I've always really tried to instill into my mind life is unfolding as it should and I feel that often. But I've never really thought of it of life unfolding as it should for others. 
So it's, this is going to be a good addition to my to my healing. So we detach from the understanding. We detach with the understanding that life is unfolding exact, exactly as it needs to for others and for ourselves. The way life unfolds is good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all God. All good. All God. <laughs> the way life unfolds is good, even when it hurts. Pain is the touchstone of recovery. Uh, Rumi, the, the great poet Rumi, he said that the only way through pain is to be in the pain. Something like that. I, I did not quote that properly, but that the, the Rumi, he has all these great wisdom um, as, as sayings, and one of them, one of them is about pain. But and the concept is that to 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 get past pain or to move through pain or to get rid of pain, you have to go into the pain. Um, so even so, life unf the way life unfolds is good, even when it hurts. And ultimately, we can benefit from it, from even the most difficult situations. We do this with the understanding that power greater than ourselves is in charge and all is well. We need to let go. Let go of the wheel. Let God take it. Understanding, knowing, believing, having faith that all is good and all is working in your favor and others' favor for your process and for their process. Get out of the way. Just let go. Have fun and enjoy your life. Here's your prayer for today. Today I will apply the concept of detachment to the best of my ability in my relationships. If I can't let go completely, I'll try to hang on real loose. <laughs> it says that, I'll try to hang on loose, um, loosely. So today I will apply the concept of detachment to the best of my ability in my relationship. So we're not going to do this perfectly. It's a process. It's a practice. Just like everything else, it's a practice. Excuse me. If I can't let go completely, I'll try to hang on loose. Woo, amazing. Um, yeah, happy Tuesday. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. I love you all. And go enjoy and play and love and live your life. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.